Hey guys, Ali Entertainment. Uh, sorry I have kind of disappeared the last month. Uh, stuff isn't going on. Uh, I mean, I haven't really been doing much at home, but uh, you know, with the upcoming season, Christmas, and everything like that, and I don't know, just having a bit of anxiety, I just kind of took a month off. Uh, so tonight I decided to do kind of a little bit of an e-blog. It's not, um, like recent news I'm sure you guys have heard a lot of the news that uh, went around in December um, yeah there's a bunch of news in December one of them that uh, of course hit everybody was the death of Carrie Fisher I guess she was coming back from a book tour or something and she ended up having a heart attack and they rushed her to the hospital and I guess she was you know, stable but unresponsive, and then she ended up uh, passing away. Um, her mother um, is a legendary actress, uh, Debbie Reynolds. So I guess throughout the years, she has been um, having a problem with her health. She's been having a lot of strokes and everything like that. Uh, and just almost two days after the death of her daughter, you know, she couldn't handle it, and she ended up having a another stroke um, so unfortunately she passed away too you know it's hard um, for a mother to lose their daughter because you know you're expected to go first I know in my family my grandpa when uh, when he lost his daughter he he took it pretty hard um, but anyway you know it's sad but they're at peace now I guess um, and the plan is for them to be buried together, which is good. And there's a few other deaths, but nothing as high, you know, priority of uh, this. Um, Star Wars fans, don't freak out. I guess she did film a bunch of scenes for the second Star Wars, um, which is good. So you still probably see her in the second Star Wars, but not the third. But I heard that Disney for some odd reason, um, put, uh, bought life insurance on Carrie Fisher. So apparently Disney is going to get $50 million for the death of her, which I don't know why they put life insurance on her. I don't know. Maybe she had, uh, Haley and Al um, I was lucky enough in September to not, I didn't meet her. But I was lucky enough to see her, like, um, we went to an expo, and uh, I was just kind of standing there. She walked by with her bodyguards and her dog, um, Gary Fisher. And honestly, to me, she didn't look like she was in the greatest health. She just, I don't know if it's just the way she was dressed. She just kind of, like, wasn't put together kind of hippie-ish. But uh, I kind of wish now that I got her autograph. But I definitely did see her panel, and I got some great pictures of her. Um, and if you guys are wondering, Gary Fisher the dog is going to go live with uh, um, Carrie Fisher's daughter. I forget her name, but I know she's apparently dating, dating Taylor Lautner. Um, but uh, yeah, that was kind of a big spiel on that. Um, in other news, you guys, I'm sure you probably heard about Rob Kardashian and um, China. <laughs> China? Is her name China? Yeah, it's China. Black China? Her name being Black China? Um, apparently a few days before Christmas she packed up the baby's room and left after, um, you know, people allegedly hacking into her Twitter account saying that she was only using Rob to get the Kardashian name and to get money and that after they were married she was going to leave him and take his money. So uh, Rob Kardashian uh, you know, took to Twitter and Facebook and everything like that, saying he really wanted uh, them back. And a few days later, she ended up coming back. I mean, come on, he has tons of money, so of course they're they're going to. So he, uh, they're back together and happy and everything like that. Um, you know, there's tons of news, tons of news uh, going. Um, you know, I just, for some odd reason, I, I can't think of any. Uh, here's the news. Uh, SeaWorld, uh, their whale, their killer whale, um, Tiki Cum or something, uh, died at the age of 36. So apparently he was fighting a bacteria infection. Uh, what what I found was interesting is uh, this, this killer whale um, has been in the news a few times before. Apparently it has killed 
a few people um, and it's also a little celebrity I guess it was in the um, documentary movie called Blackfish um, I don't know I don't know is there anything else happening in the entertainment world Jeremy no Jeremy's kind of behind me uh, he's relaxing uh, we're kind of like on a mini ski vacation um, more him skiing than I am but uh, yeah another news you guys um, the bachelor started so I'm so excited we get to watch Nick uh, follow and hopefully uh, find love um, and yes and right now I'm uh, kind of just watching last man standing Jane the virgin and Breaking Bad. I'm on the fifth season. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying that, so maybe I'll watch some uh, later after this. Um, I haven't really made it much to the movie movies in the last little bit. Um, I live like 25 minutes away, and you know, since it's winter and cold and everything like that, it, I uh, don't feel like leaving the house. <laughs> so, but I did go see Why Him with James Franco. And Brian Cranston, so I'm hoping to put up a review on that here in the next couple of days. But I definitely do for a little e vlog. So um, that's kind of it, you guys. Uh, nothing new to report, I don't think. Um, hope everybody had a great Christmas and got spoiled and had a good year. Um, mine, I kind of just stayed uh, low key, kind of at my parents' house, you know, me and Jeremy and my little puppy dog. Um, yeah, so I think uh, that's about it, you guys. I'm sure I'm missing a few little things, but I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, anyway, you guys, uh, I'll let you go, and I'll let Jeremy back to watching Border Patrol. He's watching Border Patrol back there, actually. This channel has, like, uh, a marathon or something or whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, you guys, I've been chatting for about seven minutes now, so I am going to head out, but I hope you guys have yourself a great night. Bye.